Thank you, Amelia. 632 downtown Clayton will transform this weekend into a major fine art and craft fair. Yeah, but before we can get to the St. Louis Art Fair, you've got road and parking lot closures. That must occur, and that's what's going on this morning. The Power of Two's Chris Frenier joins us live in Clayton with a look at the busy weekend. Good morning, Chris. Hey, John, good morning to you. Blair, good morning to you as well. Lots of activity this morning here in downtown Clayton. We are on Central at Carondelet. Crews shutting down this stretch of Central. Within the past hour or so, this area will eventually be transformed into what is commonly known as Restaurant Row for the St. Louis Art Fair. Those tents should be coming in a little bit later this morning. We can show you some video we captured a little bit earlier of crews putting up barricades along Central here. This is one of several street closures due to the fair. The closure starting a little earlier this morning. They will continue this evening. Let's go ahead and bring in Sarah Umloff. She is the executive director of the St. Louis Art Fair. Sarah, thanks for joining us. Oh, Appreciate okay. you out here so early with us. Thank you so much. Talk with us about what people should know regarding street closures mm -hmm. if they're coming through Clayton over the next few days because there are some traffic issues. Yes, there are. So here in downtown Clayton, uh, during the day today on Thursday, you can still see Forsyth Boulevard open, okay. but Forsyth will be closing tonight after work hours, so around 6 p.m. And so Forsyth will be closed. You'll also see Central Avenue closing, Merrimack closing, and North Brentwood Boulevard closing. So a lot of the main thoroughfares in downtown mm -hmm. Clayton, you could probably expect to have some issues if you're trying to get around, at least in your car. Yes, that, that's correct. If you're traveling east to west, rely on Maryland Avenue to the north mm -hmm. and Bonham Avenue in downtown Clayton to the south to get through uh, east to west. If you're traveling north and south, you can rely on Hanley Road, Bemiston, and South Brentwood Boulevard will connect you also. So Now, uh, traffic aside, there's exciting stuff down here this weekend with all of these artists. Talk to me about what people can expect to see if they're coming out to the St. Louis Art Fair. It's your 29th year, yes. lots of artists down here and, and lots to do. Oh yes, we're gonna have more artists here in 2022 than we did in 2021. Mm -hmm. So it's getting back to normal. We're going to have over 180 artists exhibiting their beautiful work from ceramicists to glass artists to painters and uh, also some printmakers, just, and of course, jewelry as well. <laughs> you're gonna see everything down here and you're not gonna wanna miss it. Fair enough. Sarah Umoff with us this morning, the executive director of the Art Fair. Sarah, thank you very much. We'll have you back at 7. We'll talk some more art. Great. Thank you. Absolutely. So here are the specifics. If you're coming down this weekend, the St. Louis Art Fair uh, starts tomorrow, running through Sunday. Tomorrow it's open from 5 p.m. until 10 p.m. Saturday is the longest day, 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. And then on Sunday, the hours are 11 to 5. For now, live in Clayton, I'm Chris Fournier.